What's up guys, I'm Chris and today you're watching a magic review on Blinds by Mark Bennett. Alright, so first off, I'm not going to rip into this too harshly because A, I think it's a great concept, B, it seems like Mark is a genuinely nice guy, and C, I truly believe that he does use this and it works for him. So I don't think that he's trying to deceive the magic community. With that said, let's get into the review. So what is Blinds? I'll start off with what you get, just because Blinds is more than just a gimmick. Okay, so you will get, here's the packaging. You'll get the Blinds wallet. I actually do like the wallet. I think that I can find some use for this. I originally was going to return this because I just don't think that it's usable for me, but I think I'm going to keep it just for the wallet. Uh, anyway, so you'll get the wallet, you will get the gimmicked credit card, and then you will also get a mini silver metallic marker, a um, couple extra stickers and some business size cards this one just has the name on it but basically a tv that says movie or show that goes along with the routine that's taught which is also good so we'll get into that in a bit too and then you'll get your tutorial the tutorial well i'll talk i'll touch on that in a second so <clears throat> what is blinds it is a wallet with a gimmick card and the card is more what this overall project or release is about um, but it does work with the wallet but at the same time you can take this card out and use it in pretty much any peak wallet with a full-size peak so what's the quality all right this is where i ran into issues so uh, the quality of the wallet is fine. I don't know if it's real leather, but I do like the design. Um, basically, you have three working pockets, and then you have a fourth compartment here. And these pockets all load into the peak window. So I think that's pretty neat. You could do multiple peaks with this if, if you find a routine that uh, that would work with. Now, um, quality of the card. So, for me, this isn't a peak that I would use uh, with words. Um, just because without exposing the gimmick entirely, um, the design is 100% in the name of the product. So, you can probably get the idea but you're going to have some issues with straight lines and uh, like any words that have straight lines in them so for example just with this um, the L the I parts of the N the D it's uh, it can get lost in the pattern of the gimmick so it can be hard and difficult to read uh, so personally I wouldn't use this for a word um, now i could see this being more beneficial to me in like a drawing duplication all right so on with the quality um <clears throat> that's where i think that this concept meets its downfall and that's in the quality of the gimmick so first off uh it's designed to look like a credit card to me, it really doesn't. And to anybody where this is in a well-lit environment or even somewhat up close, I think it's very obvious that this isn't a real credit card. Now, uh, without exposing the gimmick, I'm just going to show you the side of it. Um, so I placed another card on top to show you how thick the gimmick is. So that's, you know, this is like a regular sized card on top, a plastic card. Um, 
and then the gimmick underneath. Now the gimmick, I think the mm, outer portion of it is probably 3D printed. I'm not sure about the inner portion where the, the gimmicked part is because it's almost like like a rubbery plastic. But uh, I, I believe that this is just spray painted because you can see some, uh, well, I better not show that. There's just some texture and stuff like that where it just, it doesn't look very good. And then it's mentioned in the tutorial that the numbers can come off quite easily. So he provided a silver uh, metallic kind of Sharpie to touch that up, which... Fair enough, that's a nice touch that, uh, you know, you can use that. Just in the sense that numbers on cards do wear, right? So at the same time, you may not even feel it's necessary, but I think because of the um, the quality of the gimmick, touching it up, I think, is your best chance at having this pass as, as, a, as an actual card. Um, and then, you know, just like the, the stickers themselves, you can see they're not very authentic looking. So, you know, the quality is where I think that this falls for me. Now, do I think that this is a good idea? Yes, I, I like the concept. I like the principle behind it. Again, I don't think that this is the best peak for words that's just my thoughts and i know that this works for mark right so i'm not saying it doesn't work not not at all but uh i think that this could have been maybe engineered or developed a little bit differently to where the design was cut into a, an actual card type thing um, and i think it would still work now i can't say more than that because i don't want to completely expose things, even though, you know, the idea is in the name. And I think a lot of you probably have the right idea. But again, it's not my place to expose the things here. So, um, yeah, basically, it's the quality of the gimmick itself that that doesn't do it for me. Now, you know, originally, I kind of there are some similarities in the overall scheme of things when it comes to this and a previous release um, that that came out which was the peak by mr blonde um, now the difference here is that like i said in the beginning i feel like mark is a genuinely nice guy in the tutorial you kind of get to know him a little bit right and, and just enough to know like he's he backs this and and for for good reason like in the sense that I do believe that he uses this. I believe it works for him, and I think that he is sincere in that. I don't think he's trying to deceive anybody. And, I mean, he put his name on on the product, right? Unlike Mr. Blonde, who we still have no idea who he is, and I think that he completely was trying to deceive people. So the similarity here is just that I think between kind of the, the hype that was developed and and the way that the trailer was done you know showing reactions and, and some big names I think that's where people see the the similarities but I believe the motive is completely different okay I don't think that there was any foul play involved here not intentionally by any means so I don't want to compare it too much to the peak and I mean with this you do get a much more clear peak, I I believe. If you're doing like a drawing duplication where you can probably make out an image better than some words because like I said, if there's straight lines in the word, especially if they're using like um, block capitals, which I know is often encouraged in mentalism, I think that that's going to work. That's going to be where you're going to find more difficulty making out the word. Anyway, the tutorial, it's uh, 15 minutes long or so. Uh, Mark kind of goes over the history of the blinds gimmick and and goes over a routine, which I think the routine is good. Um, Mark has a way of presenting 
and ultimately revealing his word that I think is unique and it's uh, it's interesting, right? I'll probably take some aspects from the uh, the routine and use that in other presentations. So uh, ultimately, like I don't feel like I'm at a hundred percent loss here because, like I mentioned, I do I do like the uh, the wallet. So while we're on that and while we're kind of still somewhat on quality, I will just kind of show you the wallet. So again, I don't know if it's real leather. It looks like it. Um, it doesn't smell like it, but it feels like it. So I don't know. I'm thinking it's probably a vegan leather, but I don't know. So maybe it's real leather. Uh, the quality on the wallet seems good. Like the stitching is, is, uh, it's well done. Uh, for me, I don't like the air tag thing here just because I don't have air tags and I know not everybody does. So this could be unused. Um, but it is stitched on and because it has a button up here, I'll probably just take a knife and just take the stitching out and then I have a wallet without this and I think the wallet is usable and I think that there are um, there are uses for this so the wallet quality I think is pretty good tutorial I'd say is pretty good as well it's short it's to the point you get kind of uh, one type of routine with some ideas but I think overall it's it's a good tutorial difficulty level kind of touched on that um, you know, getting your peak and, and kind of every step towards getting your peak, it's all easy. It's, it's simple, right? And just like any peak wallet, you insert the card with the information and you get your peak. Um, but for me, the quality lies in, in uh, deciphering the peak, for lack of a better term, in some cases. And I wish that I could show you more, but just... I can't, you know, it's not my place. So yeah, that's that's where this becomes difficult for me is words. Angles. So there are some angle restrictions. Um, not terrible. I mean, you're going to get your best peak from a certain angle. And your participants kind of have to be mm, probably a few feet away to not see anything just the way that it's designed the design itself is angly in a sense <laughs> you know the angle thing i would kind of want them to be further away anyway just because if they look down at the card they may not see the method but the card looks strange so you do got to watch your angles set up and reset so it's just a one-time setup you want to put your gimmicked card into the wallet and that's that's really it reset instant you know take out the old card and you reset arts and crafts or is this ready to use out of the box it is ready to use out of the box you just may want to touch it up over time can it be inspected no definitely not um i wouldn't have the wallet or the gimmicked card examined um the wallet is pretty self-explanatory if they are to kind of look at anything but that's not something that worries me I never really worry about wallet examinations just because I don't think honestly I don't think people have a place to examine your wallet and, and that's just me like you know I, I think even a, if I were a lay person watching a mentalist or a magician and I had suspicions about the wallet there's no way i would ask hey can i take your wallet and go through it so that's just me but um yeah if they if they're too close or, or they are looking at this for more than a couple seconds like that's the thing you don't want to draw any attention or heat to this um because if if they look at it for any length of time they're going to see that it's a strange looking card and it may just be obvious that that's how you're getting your information. I don't know. Presentation. Presentation. Pocket space. So it is, uh, it's a thin wallet. It's going to be thinner once I take this thing off. Yeah, it's hardly takes up any space. And like I said, if you don't want to use this wallet, but you do, 
want to use the gimmick because I know I, I've I've seen posts on on Facebook through the different groups and communities. Some people don't like it. Some people do like it. So you know I know it works for some people and they're enjoying it. So you know if if you want to use the gimmick but the wallet isn't for you, you can place the gimmick in any wallet that has a card slot for the the peak compartment and you're going to want like a full size peak. Uh, now I should mention the quality of the wallet. There's a reason that there's no plastic over this. It's open. Let's see. Um, and you know the reason behind it is good because I know one of the things um, that I was watching it mentioned that there's not even any plastic over this and once I watched the tutorial it made sense. Right. Uh, to me this peak is it can be fairly difficult with words, right? So um, the plastic was intentionally not placed in this wallet or not installed into the wallet, I guess, just because any glare would make it a lot more difficult. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the reason behind that. Is it a worker and who would use this? No, it's not, it's not a worker for me, right? I don't want to say that it's not a worker because I do believe that Mark uses this and I do believe it works for him and he uses it in his working stage show and he says that and he mentions uh, behind the bar right so um, I know that he uses this in a working environment and I believe that to be true like I said he seems like a really genuine guy uh, but for me I you know I just think that I have other methods or wallets or devices that I would probably use to get my peak um, over this. Now, you know, um, there are some wallets where I can see myself throwing this gimmick into the wallet just because, uh, you know, it's it's fairly hidden as is. I don't know if I would, right? So I, I don't want to say that I would because I don't know that I would, but uh, it has potential, okay? I just think that it could have been designed and executed a little bit better or maybe a fair bit better but I don't want to be harsh about things because for a number of reasons so who would use this this is you know a mentalism prop right here it's a peak so whether you're a magician or a mentalist or you combination of both um, it's a mentalism piece so you decide is it worth your money and the price so this is fifty dollars for me it's it's not worth the $50. If I were to put a price point on this, this might sound kind of harsh and I mean no um, no offense or anything like that. I'd probably put it at like 19 bucks. Mainly because I don't think this is real leather so it's probably fairly inexpensive to manufacture. And then the gimmick itself. Okay so um, the gimmick itself I think it's just the quality, that's where it really lacks quality. And I just can't back a high price point for that. Um, and then the tutorial is good. Like I said, it's short. You do get one routine and some great ideas. So there is value there for sure. Um, it's just entirely in the card gimmick that I, I have to go against the price. Um, but that's just me, right? So, yeah. Pros and cons, positives, negatives. Um, the positives for me is the wallet, the tutorial, you know. Um, and like I said, I do like the concept. I do like the idea. And I do think that this could be improved upon. When uh, I, I In one of the Facebook groups that I'm on, Mark shared a couple clips of the uh, the gimmick in action, and I remember I saw it and I thought this looks good, right? Like I I was looking forward to it, and uh, and yeah, like it it works the same as in those videos. Uh, to me, in the videos, I guess maybe just it wasn't an up close, so I didn't see the quality of the card in it. But the peak looked fair, right? It looked it looked all right, and I thought it was it was a good concept. But you know, I can't give the overall project or release a 
positive for the concept, right? Because the concept is one thing and what you received is another, kind of. It does do what it's supposed to. It's just, I think it could do it a lot better and be a lot more deceptive and be a lot more realistic. So yeah, that's that's the negative for me is the quality of the gimmick. And really, that's that's it, I think. like I don't see myself using this, but I don't have a long list of negatives. You know, I just think that the gimmick is cheap looking. It feels cheap. And I don't want to say that it's a time thing because I know that this has been kind of an eight-year development, and I'm sure there have been other prototypes. So I don't want to say if he took more time, maybe this should be better. I just, maybe if there were some other people that gave their input uh, once they saw the prototype or, or when they were holding the prototype or something, maybe they could have improved on this. And then I think that it would be a lot better. So with that, like I said, um, I wanted to give my honest thoughts and my honest opinion on this, but I don't want to be harsh about it because... I think this compared to the peak and, you know, Mark Bennett compared to Mr. Blonde are two different things. And I, I've seen comparisons in, in people thinking that, you know, that this is the same situation because of the trailer and and then the product and and whatnot. And I don't I don't believe that to be true. Right. I, th I think Mark seems like a great guy. So anyway. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check this out. Maybe it is for you. Like I said, there are some people that are saying that they like it. And there are definitely aspects that I do like about it. So I, I'm not giving this 100% thumbs down by any means. Um, I just think that maybe a version 2 in the future might be worth checking out. And, you know, if there is an improved version on this and I can actually get a look at the card close up and it looks like a an improvement in the quality, then I, I probably would purchase it again because the concept is cool and it works. It's it's deceptive if it's designed a little bit differently, I think. So anyway, with that, I will leave a link in the description. Comment if you have any questions like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. You can donate to the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link in the description if you choose to do so. Thank you if you do, and if not, just thanks for coming and checking out the video. I appreciate that just as much. So anyway, with that, we will see you at the next review.